What is going on guys, it's your boy Jacob here, or Face Tico, and today I'm making a little different video that I wasn't really sure if I was going to do it, considering I haven't played this game for too long, I'm not that good at it, and normally it's just professionals doing these kinds of stuff, or some tutorial guy on YouTube, but I thought I'd give it a try, because I know I have a lot of people coming from Call of Duty, and this may be their first experience they ever have with a PC game, with a mouse and keyboard, and they're not really sure what to set up, how to set it up, what to use and whatnot, and once again, I'm not saying you should use my stuff, I'm not saying you should copy me exactly, all I'm saying is that it's really good to have someone's config, someone's sensitivity, someone's settings to like start with and then you tweak them a little bit. So yeah, let's get right into it. If you did not know, I have my keyboard tilted. It's not for it's cool looking or whatever. I actually have it because a lot of people, as you probably can tell from my previous CSGO videos, I'm kind of lean forward. But if I'm having it straight, I'm literally sitting with it like this and I can't really because I like having it bent like this and kind of lean over it so i have it tilted simply because it's a lot more comfy for me and i have more mouse room but yeah i'm gonna go straight into my my keyboard and mouse i know a lot of people that start off including myself really want to play on a high sensitivity because that's just natural there are no really like rules what you should have and should not have but try and find one that's similar to the one i have similar to a professional ones and whatnot and then tweak that and then find your perfect one and try to not change it too much i use 800 dpi 0.85 in game uh zoom sensitivity one as i said you could change that i know some people tweak that but as i said it's all down through two preferences one thing that i know i'm not really sure if too many people have it but i have it from 1.6 uh i jump on the scroll going to video settings and before i get into this i just want to let you know that if i didn't make youtube videos or if i didn't stream counter strike i would be playing on 4-3 stretched it's amazing uh, the sensitivity feels absolutely beautiful. Uh, the hitboxes are a little bit bigger. You you kind of miss out a little bit on the screen, but overall, if you're not trying to make videos or if you're not trying to stream, because that's why I have it simply because I know it's a lot more entertaining to watch videos and whatnot when it's high quality. I know we may look weird and shitty, and you'll be like, yeah, but the skin doesn't look as good and the quality is not as good. In my opinion, you play a lot better and it's easier to get into. It's all down to preference, but I would play on 4.3 if I didn't make videos, and I would play on low and everything except global shadow quality, but you can't actually see shadows when they're trying to peak and whatnot and you may spot them before they even peak so in my opinion keep it at at least medium the only reason i have this on very high is obviously because of the knives and skins and whatnot you could disable this if you don't have that good of a computer but i don't know that just leave it in my opinion if you want to have my crosshair or something similar or our professionals want to watch because they have a lot of cool shit in there you go to view workshop you're not going to see the screen but then you just search and you search for crosshair generator and this will pop up you simply just subscribe to it and you back out into the game and you just start it so basically we're in here now here's a lot of professionals crosshairs you could copy those tweak them you can like start off with for example forest ones but then you like make it a little bit smaller or whatever change the color and whatnot to make it fit for you i picked number four uh here you like size thickness gap outline and whatnot and you just change it here so i'm not sure exactly what size i have you you can always just like try it thickness want a little bit more thick this is what i had and then the gap obviously if you want to have like a larger gap smaller gap outline if you want to have like a black outline ish you get the deal here's colors and then you can just save the crosshair right there and then you can make new ones and whatnot but i go with the blue one i used to use a yellow one a lot i switch i switched to the red one because it looks really cool but I kind of switched to the blue one again and I started playing better. Ugh, it may just be a fucking coincidence. But as I said, try not change them. I mean, crosshairs doesn't really matter too much. Some people change them a lot. Some people think that they make like a huge difference. In my opinion, they don't. It's all about what you get used to and how you learn your crosshairs. So again, in my opinion, don't, don't change around too much. Try to start off, or if you watch this uh, video, try and like start off get your settings done trying to have them or at least tweak as little as possible when you've actually set it on me all right this is what i want to play with this is what i want to use and try to get used to it it may take some time but it's better than fucking going like back and forth with settings sensitivities and whatnot it's all about getting it to your brain's muscle memory so now i'm going to show you guys a couple of things that you can do to practice your aim rather than just playing comp Rather than just playing comp games straight away, what I do normally, the first thing I do when I start off is once again, workshop, and you want to download fast aim and reflex training. Uh, I start that one. That's pretty much the first step that I start with. Join a CT. Here you have, uh, you start with the AK and a Deagle. And basically, 
these bots are gonna try and run up to you. So I'm sorry if my aim is off now, by the way. This is actually my first game on. You'll like try and get them before they reach up to you and knife you. I'm gonna op some as well, because that's what I do normally since op is, I wouldn't say my main, but it's something I really enjoy doing. So this is what I pretty much just get the hang of the mouse, get the hand like, get the feeling in, fast turns and whatnot. As a first game on, this is a really good op training or aim training in general. Get the hang of the mouse once again, get the feelings in, maybe some with the deagle. I'm not that good with the deagle though. I haven't really figured out uh, how, where to shoot at. This is pretty much the only like, what's it called? Weapon that I feel like I'm not really used to. Normally I try to get to like around maybe 500 kills in that one. Some with the ops, some with the AK, M4, whatever gun you prefer, obviously. And then I join a deathmatch server. You could use these, but once again, these depends where you live at. Right now, if I were in Sweden, I would play on servers called Brutal, I think they're called. They're apparently really good, a lot of good people in there, so you actually get like really good practice. Another thing that I feel like is super, super important, and this is simply for the people. Obviously, a lot of people that watch this play the game just for fun. They want to get better, but they might not be that serious about it. But what I'm saying and the reason I feel like I am as good as I am or whatever, it's not because I've played a lot, it's because I've watched a lot of CS. I watch so much CS, I watch a lot of streams, I watch a lot of like gameplays on YouTube. That's how I got my game sense in my opinion, like you learn so much. You learn like sneaky spots, you like sneaky flashes, sneaky smoke, sneaky things to do, smart things to do, things you should not be doing, positioning. Where I learned Counter-Strike, obviously not the aim part, but like, you know, the rest pretty much is from watching other people play. When you watch other people play, it helps so much. So if you want to get better, not just play a lot because obviously you yourself you need to hit your shots watch a lot of counter-strike i know i may not be the perfect person to copy or perfect person to listen to since again that good at the game i haven't played for too long and there are probably way better tutorials and way better people to listen to but this is just a rough little explanation what i feel like because even though I'm not that good, I feel like I know a lot about Counter-Strike. Trying to find like a config and sensitivity and resolution and whatnot from someone and then tweak it, make it yours and do not change it too much. Try and stick to it and get into it and learn it. If you want to see more videos like this or if there's anything else you would you would want me to cover or, or if you would want to see like a specific video, how to get better with the op, how to get better with pistols, how to do this, how to do that, tips and tricks, whatnot. I don't even know. Leave it in the comment section below. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys and have an amazing day. Peace out.